sign of things to come. Against 10 men, probably. So, um, I, I, we know that it was a different game in the second half, obviously. But I liked our first half already. Um, I like the way we tried to find solutions to play. I like the, the, the way we took a, typic, a difficult game. And um, so, that was already good. And I was ready for a very positive halftime talk with a few, showing a few pictures where we could have done differently, where we have to move um, like quicker, pass quicker, pass easy, and stuff like this. Um, and then, yeah, the red card happened, and that changed obviously the game. So, and um, we came in and Hendo said that he probably got a knock, and but wants to carry on. I said, no, we don't take any risk. And then we had to make the decision. And yeah, and decided for Thiago because it was now, again, even without training against uh, against 10 men, he's then pretty much the perfect player on that position, I would say, um, because he just. Once you saw everything he did today was completely natural. It was not all perfect, but it was natural. So the passes he tries to play for there are natural. And so that it's good, really good, nice, clean sheet. Ali saves a penalty. Um, Thiago debut. Yeah. If Hendo has absolutely nothing, it's a perfect day. What did you think of the sending off? And would it would you have still won had it been eleven against eleven? What would you have done? What did, you think of the, what did you think of the sending off? And would you still have won had it been 11 against 11? Oh, I, I, I saw the, the, the sending off only in the situation. I see Christensen's arms around Sadio. So I thought in that moment it's a sending off, to be honest, but I could, but I didn't see it back since then. So if you saw it differently or have an other opinion, I have to respect that. Um, would they have won it? <laughs> Who knows that? I always said I liked I liked our game in the first half, so I thought we we, we could win it, yeah. But if we would have, I don't know. Hey, thank you, Jeremy. We've got uh, John Cross followed by Ian Abrams and then uh, Joe Prince Wright. But John Cross now. Uh, Jurgen, can I just ask you about the, the the two goals? Really, we know what a wonderful player Sadio is, but the first goal is a beautiful team goal, isn't it? The second goal, the way he chases down the ball after giving it away. What you know? Does that sh does that say everything that you, you know there is to say about Sadio and his work rate and, and what he means to this team? Yes, it says everything about Sadio. It says everything about the team as well. So I, I love that because we had these situations um, quite a lot that we that we, that we chased the goalie and um, he and then was really close. I think first half Sadio was really close um, to to block it there already. So you just have to do it. Yeah, that's I, I love it when we get the reward for these kind of situations. And that's yes, you are right. The first goal was a was a nice piece of football. Um, everybody involved pretty much um, from passing the ball through, and putting a cross in, and then Sadio comes in front of his man. So really difficult to defend the goal, and gave the game the right direction. Does it underline the hunger within the squad? For today, yes. But that's exactly what we have to show all the time. That's that's how it, that's what we wanted to show today, um, uh, because uh, it, it for us it's really important, um, yeah, that we we only have to convince ourselves or not convince maybe it's not the right word, but we only have to show ourselves. Okay, it's us, and I saw us today. I saw us playing football today, and I'm completely fine with that. I loved it. Thank you, John. Ian, Joe Prince, right, and then Kieran Canning to finish. Unless anyone else does the hands up. Hi, yeah, gonna hope you're well. I am. Thank you. Good. Um, good. Good win today. Can I ask you first of all? I thought when the sending off happened, you turned around to some of your substitutes not to get them to applaud the fact that there's a, a, a player being sent off. I thought that was a great bit of sportsmanship. Is that not what happened? But it was not one of my subs. It was another another member of staff, and I gave him, I told him already what I think about it, and that it's good with that. So I'm 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 fine with that. But in the moment, yeah, there's nothing I want to see. That's true. And finally, I guess that you're much happier tonight than you were last Saturday. Not because you haven't got the same three points, but you, as you mentioned there, the clean sheet. And Allison in the second half had very little to do, but the penalty save and then the save at the end from Tammy Abraham, he stays switched on, doesn't he, for the entire 90 minutes? I'm very happy, and I don't know if I have to compare happiness. So I was last week very happy, and I'm this week very happy for different reasons, maybe, but um, I like both games. And yes, um, Look, we went 2-0, um, could have scored more, didn't, and then the game is open. So then we, we, we produce a penalty. I'm not sure um, 
if I would have given it, to be honest, even when a completely neutral situation, but okay. Um, and then uh, another save, Ali has to make another save. So this is a proper team performance. Everybody had to work hard. We did, and we deserved the three points, and I'm overly happy with that. Joe, and then Kieran to finish. I've got no other hands up. So after Kieran, now will be Joe first, then Kieran. Hi, Jürgen. Hi. So firstly, Thiago, to go back on his performance, is this one of the main reasons that you bought him for these qualities in a situation where teams are sat back deep defensively and he can help dictate the tempo of the game? And secondly, what did you think about Fabinho's display? Because he slotted in very nicely at centre-back today. <laughs> I don't know. We, so we, we, we signed, we signed Thiago for, for different reasons. And only one of it is, um, against deep defending sides. So it's like, yeah, we, 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 we improved in that department a lot. Uh, um, I have to say with, with all the players who were already there before, but yes, it's something he, it suits him. It's, it's, it's natural to him. So I like that. That's of course it's good. Um, but, um, yeah, so it's one, one of a lot, one reason of a lot. And for Benio, yes. Um, if Sadio wouldn't have scored two goals, I think Fab would be a proper contender for a man of the match. I loved his performance. He played outstanding. Um, and yeah, helped us obviously a lot with the ball and in defending as well. So yes, proper performance. Fantastic. And then Kieran to finish. Last question as it stands. Thank you. <clears throat> Hi, Jürgen. Uh, you talked about recognising your own team today and, and showing yourselves, but how important was it to show the rest of the league as well? Because there was a lot of expectation coming in today. A lot of people talking about Chelsea, the money they've spent. Can they be a, a real contender? But it was a very dominant performance, even 11 v 11. Thank you. You're the first who mentions that. I always have the feeling I have to, I'm the only one who saw it. <laughs> no, it's true. I like the performance a lot. And that's, I don't know, we are not playing against for two things, like three points and showing everybody. Um, uh, you better be uh, ready when we arrive or whatever. That's not that's not us. So the next game will be incredibly difficult immediately for, for their own reasons because Arsenal is obviously flying and uh, since a few months already, uh, mm -hmm. really tough. But for ourselves to, to just that we, that we feel the way we play with adaptations, with improvements, with development made us successful and will make us successful if we really put throw it pretty much consistently on the pitch. And so this uh, Chelsea game away will be for the next 500 years, one of the most difficult games you can ever play. And um, it, is, uh, it will become even more difficult now when um, for Chelsea, all the things settled, um, that's clear. But um, so for today, it was difficult enough for us, but we did it and I'm happy about that. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Got some mute.